Welcome to my lecture online. Next, we'll tackle the sine of 3 theta. 3 theta. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, 3 theta, how do we derive the equivalent equation? Well, let's see here. 3 theta. Well, how about if we write it like this? The sine of 2 theta plus theta. So now we write it as the sum of two angles. And so we know the identity for that. That is equal to the sine of 2 theta times the cosine of theta plus the cosine of uh, 2 theta times the sine of theta. All right. But then the sine of 2 theta can also be written as the sine of theta plus theta. And the same with the cosine of 2 theta. So we can write this as the sine of theta plus theta times the cosine of theta plus the cosine of theta plus theta times the sine of theta. And then again, we can find the equivalent of those statements. So this becomes equal to the sine of theta times the cosine of theta plus the cosine of theta times the sine of theta, all multiplied times the cosine of theta. And that means here that this becomes the cosine of theta times the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta times the sine of theta, all multiplied times the sine of theta. All right. So simplifying that a little bit, this would be equal to 2 times the sine of theta cosine of theta multiplied times the cosine of theta. And here this becomes plus the cosine square of theta minus the sine square of theta multiplied times the sine of theta. All right, and simplifying that, so this becomes 2 times the sine of theta, I forgot my theta there, theta times the cosine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta times the sine of theta minus the sine cube of theta. Okay. Notice that here we have the sine of theta, cosine square of theta, sine of theta, cosine square of theta, we can add those together, so this becomes three times the sine of theta times the cosine square of theta minus the sine cube of theta. And now, let's try to express it in terms of just a sine to get rid of the cosine. That means that this cannot be written as three times the sine of theta times one minus the sine square of theta minus the sine cube of theta. So when we do that, we get three times the sine of theta minus three times the sine cube of theta minus the sine cube of theta. And then combining like terms, we can then say that the sine of 3 theta can be written as 3 times the sine of theta minus 4 times the sine cube of theta. And there you go. That is how we find the identity of the sine of 3 times an angle. 3 times the sine of the angle minus 4 times the sine cube of the angle. So essentially this has reduced from a triple angle to a single angle identity and that is how it's done.